Good morning, friends. Welcome. I'm in this beautiful place in Canada right now, and I wanted to share a little practice with you. Being on the road doesn't give me a lot of time or the time that I would like to invest in my practice. However, doing something every day is really important to me. So this very quick and little practice is something I wanted to share with you. And it just kind of touches every single system in the body from an Ayama perspective. We're activating all of our key muscles that are important to maintain stability, to maintain that sense of inner strength, and getting the muscles to start working as I'm driving across Canada right now, that sometimes when you're spending a lot of time in the car, your muscles just shut down. So we wanna make sure that those muscles are activated and doing what they're supposed to be doing. So let's get started here. Come and find a comfortable stance on the ground. As you can see, I'm not using a yoga mat, so you don't have to use a yoga mat uh, if you're doing a yoga practice. It's really nice just to feel the earth beneath my feet, to feel the fresh grass and this beautiful lake in front of me. And just taking a couple of deep breaths, have the arms to the sides, turn the palms facing forward in the gesture of receiving, in the gesture of absorbing and taking in. And as you inhale, breathe in the fresh air, breathe in life force energy. And as you exhale, feel your exhale now going through your body down into your legs, into the feet, into the earth. Inhaling renewal, exhaling stability. So inhale, bring the arms and reach up to the sky. And then exhale, bring the arms back down beside you. Let's do that three more times. Same idea, inhale, Taking in, feel a sense of renewal, feel a sense of absorbing prana as you exhale. Feel the exhale moving down through the feet into the earth. Stability and groundedness. Inhale, energize. Open the heart up and exhale. Let's just do it one more time. Inhale, breathe in, and exhale. Very nice. So inhale, now let's bend the knees and breathe into chair pose. Reach up through the heart, sit back, lift the toes up, sink into the heels. Exhale and pause. Inhale here, lean back a little bit more, and then exhale. Keep the knees bent and let the hands come down. Inhale, bring the arms reach out and up. Come and sit back into chair. Now exhale, let's bend the elbows here a bit. Inhale, reach the arms up. Take the biceps back behind the ears and then exhale, straighten the legs and bring the arms down. Inhale, sit back into chair. Reach up. Lift up through the heart. Take the sides of the belly into the midline. Squeeze it in. Exhale, sit back a little bit more. Inhale, reach up through the heart. And then exhale, come forward. And then just come into the forward bend, keeping the knees bent. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Sit back into chair. Exhale, now bend the elbows. We're gonna just actually stay here for another breath. Inhale, lift the heart, squeeze the sides of the belly into the midline. Exhale, come back a little bit more. And then inhale, reach the arms up and exhale. You guys feel your back muscles warming up here. Inhale, this is a fantastic practice for the upper back. Exhale, sit back a little bit more. Inhale, squeeze the sides of the belly into midline. Squeeze your glutes even. And lift up the chest and heart a little bit more. And then exhale, come forward. Inhale, come and sit back into chair. 
and exhale bend the elbows inhale come and reach the arms up lift your toes up sit back into the heels bring the arm bones back exhale bend the elbows inhale bring the arms up again reach up and then exhale bring the arms down it's wonderful isn't it you just feel everything waking up we're going to do a little practice for stability we're going to do it a few times on each side and this is to tap into some of the core muscles so inhale bring the arms to namaste mudra exhale bring the left foot back into kind of a lunge but lean forward draw the shoulder blades back extend the heart up a little bit and we'll just do this the first time but i want you to just kind of notice if you're dropping in left side so lift that left side of your back up a bit really to say that you're level then inhale bring the left foot forward and exhale bring the hands down beside you inhale hands to namaste lift the left knee up exhale bring that foot back inhale here exhale here inhale bring that left foot up left knee up hands to namaste exhale bring the hands down let's do it a couple more times inhale and exhale inhale here and exhale here inhale here and exhale here inhale lift the left knee up hands to namaste and exhale inhale deeply exhale deeply feel like you're pushing down into the right heel of your foot here lift your right toes a little bit then inhale hands to namaste bring that left knee up and exhale inhale bring that left knee up hands to namaste and exhale inhale deeply and exhale deeply take the sides of the belly into midline pull the pubic bone slightly forward inhale bring that left knee up and exhale inhale bring the right knee up hands to namaste exhale take that foot back all right lifting through the heart check in with your back make sure that the back is level sometimes there's a tendency to drop the side of the back of the leg that's moving back so you want the back level sides the belly into midline inhale bring the right knee forward hands to namaste and exhale bring the knee down by doing this practice we're getting into many different systems of the, of the muscular system and improving that neuromuscular connection inhale bring that right knee up hands to namaste exhale take the foot back you might notice it gets easier each time now if it does get harder sometimes the muscles might be getting tired because you're using muscles you don't normally use through this kind of functional movement inhale bring the knee up hands to namaste exhale bring the foot down one of the key things here is to move slowly when moving slowly we start accessing those slow twitch muscle fibers which are responsible for the stability aspect of our skeletal system inhale bring the knee up hands to namaste exhale bring the foot back inhale here and exhale here push down drive down through that left heel lift the left toes just for a moment 
Inhale, bring that right knee forward. Hands to namaste. Exhale, bring the foot down. Inhale, bring the knee up. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring the knee forward. And exhale. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, bring the knee up. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale, bring the knee forward. Hands to namaste. And then exhale, bring the foot down. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale here. We're gonna do one more thing to finish up this practice just for today. So this is one of my faves. Come down onto your hands and knees. And inhale, lift your right leg up. Lower the hip, lift the leg up higher. Lift the left arm, come out of that right shoulder and lift both the arm and leg. And then twist if you can. And then come on down. Let's do that a few more times each side. Lift your left leg, lower the hip. Check in with your right hand to make sure those hips are level. Lift that left leg up, lift the right arm, and then arm and leg come out of the left shoulder, and then twist. And there you go. Bring that right leg up, lower the hip. Squeeze the sides of the belly into midline. Lift the left arm, arm and leg, come out of the right shoulder, and twist. And come on down. Lift the left leg, lower the hip, leg up higher, lift the right arm, arm and leg, and twist. And come on down. Lift the right leg, lower the hip, leg up higher, lift the left arm, arm and leg, and twist. And come on down. Lift the left leg, lower the hip, leg up higher, arm and leg, and twist. And come on down. Right leg lifts, lower the hip, leg up higher, lift the left arm, arm and leg, and twist. And come on down, lift the left leg, lower the hip, leg up a little higher, lift the right arm, arm and leg, and twist. And come on down. I always tell people taking about eight minutes a day to do some ayama practices is really all you need. We've been just going at this for a little over 10 minutes. If you do these practices daily, over time, you'll start to build up a stress tolerance level so that your muscles don't shut down at the first moment of any kind of stress that's placed upon them. And therefore, if your muscles are not having stress, if your joints aren't having stress, you're gonna to start to live a more pain-free life. And that's what I really want for you, to be able to live your best life, to enjoy this beautiful world and to go out and explore and do the things that you love and fill your soul up. Namaste, my friends.